I recently made a video about how I unlocked apps in ChatGPT where you could tell the AI what kind of app you want built, then ChatGPT brainstorms with itself to come up with a feature list and an entire development plan. And then it goes ahead and writes all the code for your app. The best part is that you can immediately start using your app right inside of ChatGPT. Wait, what? I didn't see that video and I don't have apps inside my ChatGPT. Well, you see, for the past year, I have built a Chrome extension called Ultra that unlocks hidden abilities inside ChatGPT to help automate my work. But this inline web app builder went mega viral on YouTube. My channel with only 100 subscribers at the time got 130,000 views on that video. I ended up getting thousands of new subscribers and the feedback has been incredible. Like, bro, you basically built the Claude feature for OpenAI. They should hire you. Absolutely brilliant idea. Make him famous, bro, better than the actual employees at OpenAI. Well done, this is amazing. You solved a big issue, congratulations. I'm happy with what I see. I'm buying the subscription in a few minutes, thanks. Absolutely brilliant, thank you. Thanks for the consistent feature updates, mate. But now, I have just released an update to the apps feature to take it to the next level. For the first time, you can create apps with databases and local storage. Let me show you how this changes everything. So for the first use case example, I'm looking to build a dashboard from a CSV that I download from a place that I sell some AI courses. So basically they give me a CSV that looks like this. It's just a bunch of course names, when it was sold, the amount it was sold. And I don't know which courses are doing better, uh, which months have the best performance for certain courses. So what I wanna do is take this raw data and turn it into an analytics dashboard that I can uh, manipulate and see my analytics. So the prompt that I'm gonna use to build this would be, I need to build a dashboard app with the ability to store my raw course sales data and then display it in useful ways as part of a dashboard. There should be an upload CSV input where I can add my CSV file. They'll have the following rows, amount, course, date, and there'll be other rows, but you can ignore those rows. Every time I upload a CSV, you can add that data to the local storage so that it can be displayed in the dashboard that we build. Uh, so the dashboard features will have a card with three columns, course name, how many sales it has, and what is the dollar value of those sales. It should show the card with some sort of graphic showing sales by month, and both number of sales and total amount. And then also a drop down with uh, months of the year to refine the database. So this kind of would allow me to upload my uh, sales data on a regular basis and update my dashboard so that I can see which courses are selling well. So let's jump into ChatGPT and see how we can build this app. So for this example, we're gonna go to apps, I'm gonna press on create app. We're gonna call this course dashboard, choose this emoji, press save. For app building method, we're gonna do simple one step build out. It's a very simple app. For select for library, we're gonna do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Again, because it's simple, don't need a framework. And local storage, have it enabled. For the model, we're gonna use GPT-1. That's my favorite model now for writing code. And then we're gonna paste in our prompt and press build app now. And you see the model starts reasoning, starts coming up with a plan, and it, quite quickly it starts writing all the code. It's just streaming all the code and we can test it out. So let's press full page preview. And then we can add uh, October to September over here, October and September. So we have, I added this, and then it's showing uh, the graphs here and let's get, put my mouse over it. It's working perfectly, built this dashboard. Only problem is I don't like the fact that it's not sorted by uh, the course with the most sales being at the top. Let me also test this to make sure. So this works. If I choose September, it's this, October. Yeah, it's working perfectly. So let's edit the app and uh, make sure that the courses with the most sales are at the top. And just like that, we asked for it to fix the app and it's gonna go in and edit the code to do what we want. So it's going in, fixing the code. And just like that, if you look here, the courses with the top sales are at the top, did exactly what we want. 
Now let's add another file. So let's say a month has passed and I want to add more data in. So I'm going to add another CSV. And as soon as I do that, now it's all updated. Now I have a lot more months. And just like that, you can just keep updating uh, your data by importing CSVs and have these custom dashboards built out. This would take a developer days to do. And whenever you want to add new features or change anything, you can just go to edit app and add any kind of functionality and it's going to write it, uh, write the code to make it happen. And the best part is that this lives inside your chat GPT. So you press on apps, you press on this, and now you have your app running and your dashboard. You can always go back, you can press on it. And then if you want to edit the app, you press edit app right here. So for use case number two, I have this tool called TubeSift that I use to find YouTube targets to advertise on. The problem is that every month when I get targets, a lot of times there's duplicate targets. And when I want to create a new campaign, I don't want the duplicate targets in there because I'm going to be bidding against myself. It's not good to target the same URL, the, the same video that you've done before on a different campaign because you're just essentially bidding against yourself. So the solution is that I need an app that will basically uh, search through all the existing targets and see if my new targets are in there. So let's say this one was already something I had in the past. I'm just going to remove it, remove it, remove it. And then I'll have a download CSV button here where it's only going to give me the new ones that are not in the existing. And then also I want to make sure that all these new ones are saved here in the future so that next time I upload new targets, I'm not going to uh, have any duplicates from the past. So the prompt that I'm going to use to build this is build an app that manages YouTube URL targets. The features users can import YouTube URLs, which get saved as existing targets. Users can upload a CSV of new URLs. The app should remove any duplicates that already exist in storage. Show the list of new unique URLs. Allow downloading the clean list as a CSV. The UI should display the total number of existing targets, a button to download all existing targets, an input to upload new targets, and a button to download the new non-duplicate targets after upload. So let's jump into ChatGPT and try to build this app. So let's build a second use case app. So we're going to go to create app. We're going to call this YouTube targets. We'll give it an emoji, press save. Again, one step build out HTML and JavaScript. We want local storage, GPT-01. And then we paste in our prompt, press build app now. The model's reasoning, it's coming up with a plan. It's talking to itself. And then quite quickly, it starts writing all the code, writing the CSS, and now it's streaming all the JavaScript. And this is the design. So let's press this. So it even added a feature I didn't even ask for, add a single URL. So let's choose a CSV. So I know that this is my uh, first batch and now it has a hundred targets. Now my second batch is also a hundred targets, but there's I think around 20 that are duplicates of the old one. So let me press choose CSV and choose a second batch. So let me choose that. And you see now it's 181 and you see how fast this works. If you were to do it with Excel, if you had, you know, say 10,000 targets, this would break down. And now I can just press download new CSV and it's showing only the 81 that are new, even though the CSV had a hundred, but 20 were duplicates. So it's able to, to do that. And then I could press download all, and then that will download all the targets. It will be all 181 targets right here. So yeah, this app works perfect. And if I want any changes, of course, I can always press edit, write what kind of changes I want or new features I want. And I can always access the app here. So we got our course dashboard app. We have our YouTube targets app. You can always download all again. They're all saved here. And then we can choose a CSV. Let's choose this one again. We, we know all these targets are going to be duplicates. So let's choose that and see, look, nothing happens because they're duplicates. I'm going to choose the first one. Again, nothing happens because they're all duplicates. So obviously the, the app is working perfectly fine. Now you're probably wondering, how do I upgrade my ChatGPT with Ultra? And what is the cost? So upgrading your ChatGPT is just a one click Chrome extension install. You will see your ChatGPT instantly transform and get all this new functionality. 
like the ability to build multi-step prompt flows to generate entire massive projects with just one click. A prompt library sidebar where you can manually save your best prompts or have ChatGPT use AI to generate custom prompts to automate your life. An ability to build your own custom ChatGPT interface with forms. It also allows ChatGPT to break out of the chat window and write your emails, talk to YouTube videos, be your assistant across the web, work inside your documents, and do your spreadsheets. So how much is this upgrade gonna cost? I mean, here's software that just unlocks ChatGPT and spreadsheets. If you click on pricing, you can see they charge $19 a month. This is literally just one of dozens and dozens of features we have with Ultra. So you're probably thinking we charge $50 a month or even $100 a month. The reality is actually the opposite. My goal with this software is to make using AI for work accessible to as many people as possible. This is why for people watching this video today, we set up a special discount link. You can get Ultra for $47 a year instead of the much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash go or by clicking the link in the description. I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the software and hearing about all the amazing things you guys are doing with it.